So Liz, there is something that always banging in my mind that um, we all uh, working with education and research, we're always trying to get people to a better life. And, and that's the main objective to get globally, uh, the more people with a better life is the best. And, and today we can see that innovation and, uh, and, and technology and the application of technology uh, in our daily life can change things a lot and can bring new job opportunities in industry and services. So uh, innovation is becoming like a, a big key word for, uh, for people, better life. So how we can boost innovation in Brazil? Well, uh, obviously, as you say, this is something every country is trying to look at, every region is trying to look at. Uh, and it's because we know that innovation, knowledge creation, uh, new value to products and processes and business models uh, really leads to growth. And I think one important piece on thinking about innovation is sometimes people think it's got to be a scientist in a lab, you know, right out of a, with a PhD. That is not how we define innovation. We think of innovation broadly. It can be innovation that's new to the firm itself. It can be new to a market like Brazil, or it can be new to the world. You know, which is sort of uh, some of the frontier or disruptive innovation. All of that matters. And so you're always able to move innovation forward, whether you're the small and medium-sized company in uh, you know, Recife, whether you're the large multinational in Sao Paulo, there's opportunities for uh, innovation. So that's the first point, is to say we all can be part of this. Uh, what we, our work here in Brazil has highlighted a number of different areas where we think Brazil could do better. Um, Certainly, they, there's a lot of scientific and technological talent here in Brazil, but we're not seeing it translate into growth for the country. And uh, there's a number of different explanations for that that, that people have. Um, we certainly think one of the issues is that Brazil is not open enough to the international world and to the ideas and knowledge and flow of, uh, of all of that into the country. It's, it's, uh, that is where we get a lot of our new ideas. That is where we build markets. And so there's one area that I think Brazil could do more of. Also, it's innovation policies. It has invested in innovation in a lot of ways. But they haven't been aligned in a way that really helps companies move quickly and respond and be flexible and agile to new technologies, new opportunities. So there's a lot of ways in which uh, old policies are layered onto each other and we're not getting the most out of the industrial policies and the innovation policies that Brazil has uh, invested in. Uh, the other part is the role of the universities. There's been a lot of uh, great investment and movement toward making universities partners in economic development, in many ways helping them figure out ways to partner with industry and become relevant. Um, the role of the university is, is very important in all of this. And I think Brazil has a lot of great uh, examples of how this is working. But it needs to be more, um, it needs to be a broader uh, effort. It needs to be more a focus on translation. How do we get things out of the university and really driven toward impact? There has to be a priority. There has to be a national priority, an agenda that brings the public sector, the private sector, the nonprofit sector aligned toward really focusing on where Brazil's comparative advantage is in the global economy. Brazil does not need to be making uh, own the entire value chain in you know, automotive or in other areas. It needs to sort of hone in on where is its competitive advantage and how can we bring all the resources to bear with long-term vision uh, that can help generate some of that growth.